Hi everybody. Um, so today I wanted to talk to you about when to cut somebody off. God forbid you should be in this position, but when would you cut somebody off in your life who you're having a difficult relationship with? Um, in case you don't recognize my, uh, the backdrop over here, I am sitting in my storage closet because, um, someone in my family is right now learning to wrap outside of this room and it's super loud. Um, and so this is where I have been relegated to and I have been very happy to be here because I get to be in a position to give to somebody else, which is something I like to do. Um, but it also makes us think to what degree are we going to stay in a relationship that's difficult and to, and when do we want to bail and leave it? And that could be breaking up with somebody who we're in a relationship with or parting ways with a friend or cutting ties with a family member. And these are obviously extremely difficult and I hope nobody has to face such things. But if you are one of the many who do need to face some, th some of those things occasionally in your life, it's good for us to question what is the Jewish thought on when is it appropriate and under what circumstances. You know, obviously abuse is a reason to cut somebody off, but even there it's hard sometimes to say what's abuse. It's not always so cut and dry. Um, so what what is the definition of abuse? What qualifies as it? And, and to make matters worse, we're supposed to, the whole purpose of life is to be godlike. We want to strive to emulate God. God, and God is a giver. So we want to spend our lives in um, the role of being a giver. How difficult is it then to decide, okay, enough is enough. I've given enough and now I'm cutting this person off. So, um, and is that the right thing to do? And, I'm, and so, so these are big questions. And, um, and I wanted to think about, you know, how highly individualized these kinds of questions are. And when you are faced with a question that's highly individualized, such as when do I cut a person off who's in my life? Or how do I, do, you know, another example of an individualized question is how do I deal with um, my child? You know, anytime you're dealing with people and you're asking yourself a specific question on how to deal with it, it's usually something that you can't just open up the text and find the answer because one size doesn't fit. We, we have to really figure out what the basic principle is and then plug in our situation to that principle. So um, I wanted to keep this video pretty brief and I think I'm just going to answer the question with a metaphor that I think is appropriate, which is um, that of an amputation. You know, in a hospital, God forbid a person is lying in a hospital bed and they're in an operating room where the doctors are going to decide in that moment whether or not they're going to amputate the patient's leg. When is it going to be that this is the time to amputate a person's leg or not? What are they going to be deciding, you know, in... in is it the right time to amputate the leg? Do we wait? Can we, can we salvage it? Obviously, they're going to do everything they can to salvage the leg. So when do they not? When do they decide it's time to cut this leg off? The answer is when it compromises the well-being of the body. If the rest of the body is compromised by, this, by the existence of this leg, then it needs to be cut off. And we don't want that. We obviously don't want to be in the position of, God forbid, having a leg amputated, but it's much worse to have our entire body compromised. And I think that this metaphor is a perfect way to, um, you know, to plug in this principle of when is it appropriate for me to cut somebody out of my life? When it's going to risk our well-being, our first priority is to our own well-being, then we have to consider that it might be a, a you know, make more sense to cut a person off. Um, so I want to give a couple of examples of this, you know, and some of them are extreme and some of them aren't, but I'll give two examples. One is, let's say I meet, um, you know, an old friend, let's say a male, let's say I meet a male and he, uh, wants to talk to me about how his, you know, spiritual life is, um, needs more enrichment. And, uh, you know, I'm open person and I like talking, so we get to talking and then suddenly I realize it's evening time and we're still talking and, um, you know, I haven't gotten home yet. And then, um, you know, we end up taking each other's phone numbers down and we talk on the phone and then five minutes turns into 20 minutes, turns into an hour. And suddenly I realize I'm on the phone with somebody else for hours and hours in the nighttime. Let's just say it's something like that happens. So that would mean that my well being is being compromised. I'm not able to function in my life. I might not be able to have a healthy marriage under those circumstances. I might not be able to, um, mother in a way that I, to the, like to my best possible, you know, abilities. So it might be an appropriate thing to say, you know what, this relationship is not good for me. It's uh, compromising my general well-being and I need to cut this person out. I'll give you another example. And this one's a, a true story. Um, I was in a position where I was really wanting to give to somebody a lot. I really wanted to um, 
help them. They were in a, in a more vulnerable position than I was. So I did everything in my power that I could to give to them and help them. And this person invites a lot of, um, I don't know what other way to say it, but a lot of drama in their lives. And they would, con I felt like I was being put um, into a test a lot and that they were creating and manipulating situations so that I was being tested and they would try to catch me out on doing something I shouldn't have been doing. Um, so, you know, I, I eventually decided that I had had enough of the manipulation. It was too draining and too exhausting. And at that point I thought to myself, you know, I really don't want to cut this person off. This is not something I want to do. But if this person is so manipulative that they're willing to risk my well-being, I think I need to, you know, prioritize and be my own advocate. So I, so I decided I'm going to part ways with this person, whether or not they realize it, who knows? So I did. And it was a lifelong decision because it's someone who would in, like perhaps be in the backdrop of my life. Um, but I really made this decision never to, God forbid, just ignore somebody, always to be cordial, but just a general feeling of I'm going to distance myself and take a step back. I need to do this for protection. Um, but there have also been instances in my life when I decided that, you know what, I'm not going to throw in the towel with a relationship like this. And in fact, I wrote a little uh, blog post, I'll put it in the comments afterwards, um, of a friendship that I have that I'm fighting very hard to maintain because I don't think it's worth throwing in the towel just because, you know, we don't always see eye to eye on things. So these are a few examples of where it's really difficult to decide and everyone has to really figure it out for themselves and speak to someone they trust, perhaps a rabbi or a friend. Um, but we really want to consider, is this or is this not compromising my well-being? Um, you know, we really want to be in a position to always give pleasure to other people. I want to always support someone else physically, emotionally. You know, if I'm in a position to give to give someone a meal, I want to give them a meal. If I can give someone a shoulder to cry on, I want to do that. Um, but my first priority and your first priority too, it has to be to guard ourselves because that's the only way we're going to be in a position to truly give to others who we have healthy relationships with. Otherwise, we're compromising all those relationships and all those people as well. So food for thought on this evening. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, let me know what you think. And I'll put my um, article about the friendship that I am working to salvage uh, in the comments below. You know, we all have relationships that are beautiful. And then we also all have relationships that need a little bit more work. So, you know, I just wish us all a lot of success in those areas. Okay, bye.